What is going on, everybody? Today, we're going to be asking a very weird question. Ben Armstrong, as you know, has retaken the BitBoy crypto name. In fact, in Altcoin Daily's interview, they, and by they, I mean the lady frame themselves, says Ben Armstrong is entitled to BitBoy crypto. They're not using it, so he has BitBoy crypto. There are some other pieces over here in which they're going to have to make a move. Now, when you steal a company, allegedly, from someone who is the majority owner, there has to be some pieces that kind of fall into place. There has to be, um, you don't like your boss because your boss is mean. That's not grounds to take over, take and steal the company from them. Uh, you don't like your boss because he promotes locker room behavior. I think that's the, uh, that's what the police said anyway. That's not a reason to not be part of the company. Um, and to be fair, it's a misdemeanor in uh, Georgia if you have an affair. So there are things that you cannot like about Ben Armstrong, but you've got a company out here trying to steal his company. And the company that's having it, that's trying to steal it, is using a person by the name of Bo Mason as the person to handle all of the affairs. Now, in the link down below, I'm going to put it down there. There's a video. It's about an hour long. It's going to take you a while, but you will notice the name Bo Mason come up. So I thought, let's go find out exactly who Bo Mason is and find out why is it that Bo Mason is on the side of, dare we say, demons? It's a weird sort of thing, but let's check it out and let's see what happens. So first up, guys, the the this led me to Coach Bo Mason. Coach Bo Mason won on X. This is the gentleman that we're talking about, part of the Southeast Basketball Academy, uh, SEBA Round Ball, HC17U, husband, father, 5X, uh, Soli Deo Gloria. I, uh, um, there, there's a lot of biblical posts and, and things like that that you might see and a, and a lot of uh, efforts to um, use different descriptive things in this. We'll, we'll, we'll get to that in a little bit, but uh, you can see here hasn't really been maintained in about a year, uh, maybe two years at this point. Uh, but uh, Bo Mason, uh, coach Bo Mason is the guy that was uh, hired by hit network and is responsible for all of the real estate finances. And despite them saying that properties were not for sale, uh, as you noticed in the testimony, there were sales ads and things like that everywhere. So they were trying to sell stuff out of the company. And the allegation, the allegation was that Ben Armstrong for millions of dollars worth of property sold all of his property to, uh, Bo Mason and, um, uh, Jeremiah, Jebediah, I don't know what the J means, uh, but but Timothy, uh, TJ, lady, you know who I'm talking about. So I don't know, by the way, if uh, TJ Shed and Bo Mason, I don't know if they're having an affair at this point. I have no idea. In fact, the last time TJ sided with somebody, it was, I believe it was a woman named Allison uh, or Allie. And I, I believe that um, Ben found out that she was having an affair on her husband, Andy, with TJ and wanted her gone. So TJ let her go, but continued to pay her lying to Ben the whole time. So uh, the question can be asked now, is TJ perhaps having an affair with Bo Mason? I don't know the answer to that. So we're going to dig in here and see if maybe something is going on here. I don't know for sure, but we're going to keep digging and we're going to keep trying to figure it out. Now, the next thing on it is Blueprint Homes. Uh, it appears that Bo Mason is the president and founder of Blueprint Homes. He's been working in real estate, buying homes since 2018. Since that time, Bo has bought over 100 properties. I don't know where he got the money to buy 100 properties. Uh, maybe he did very well because uh, I did some research, and it turns out that he was a standout college basketball player at Marietta High School and at Maryville College. Uh, if you don't know who Maryville College is, you're like most of us. We don't know who Maryville College is, but it is important to point out that Bo Mason was a leading scorer and a uh, pretty decent basketball player in a Division Three team. Uh, doesn't appear 
that um, it appears he got injured. There, there may be some, you know, I don't know if there was a settlement or something like that. You, you never know. Money came from somewhere, but they didn't pay people NIL deals back when he was playing. So I'm not sure where the money came from. Maybe he just got lucky. Maybe he's done a great job uh, in his real estate career since 2018. And we, never, we don't know. I have no idea. But um, he currently spends his time volunteering and coaching AAU basketball. I mean, I assume uh, they do background checks. In his spare time, he enjoys playing golf, being a chauffeur to his kids' sporting events, and watching Steph Curry dominate the NBA. Uh, Bo is married to Rachel, and they have six children. Uh, now, if you come over here to LinkedIn, uh, you'll see basically the same thing. It's this. It's the same. If you look at the the full profile, you'll see the same thing. But it says, "Being faithful to what God has entrusted you is what matters. The size and scope is insignificant to the faithful steward. Be faithful today." So we have some scripture. We we see that he is a God-fearing man. At least we assume that he must be a God-fearing man. So let's dig in just a little bit more, shall we? Now, another post just came out two months ago. Uh, Today was a gift from God to be able to look back 12 years ago to where I am now is wild. Let me explain. I had a real estate closing today in downtown Atlanta on Ivan Allen Jr. Boulevard. It was at the EY building. That's right. Beside the W Hotel downtown ATL. 12 years ago, I was working as a security guard at that hotel, and today I closed a deal that made me more money than I would make in a year. I am very grateful. Sometimes we forget all that God has done in our lives. I encourage you to look back and recount the goodness of the Lord in your life, even when you don't feel it now in the moment. Grace and peace. So we find that Bo Mason would appear to be a God-fearing man. Now, the question is, would a God-fearing man or legitimate God-fearing man help other people steal a company from someone? That is a question that we have to ask now because it turns out that he has all the records. Because if you go back to the testimony, again, linked in the description below, you will see that TJ has no idea what's going on. As a manager for a company, TJ is absolutely clueless, has no idea what's going on in any of the instances in which he is responsible for certain companies and um, high throughput. I think one of them is called REBJ properties uh, is one of them. 3084 Cobb Parkway, you know, there's a whole bunch of them. He has no idea what's going on. This is, this is the manager managing hit networks, by the way, you've seen the ratings, you know what they're doing. So it does make a little bit of sense, but let's be honest here. Um, He's passionate about crypto, right? So when you're stealing a company, uh, there should be some kind of um, moral compass that other people around should have. In fact, there was a fight that broke out one time between Jay Chains and Ben Armstrong. They got into it over something. And to this day, to this day, who did Jay Chains side with when all this came out? Let it sink in. Let it sink in. Now, um, let's go back and let's look at one more aspect here because we have to ask this question. Who is Bo Mason, really? 1 Corinthians 6.10 says, Nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor drunkards, nor slanderers, nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. Does that mean that if you are helping thieves, uh, or you're greedy, or you're a slandering swindler, you will not inherit the kingdom of God? What are we doing here, right? 1 Timothy 6.10 For the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. Some people eager for money have wandered from the faith and pierced themselves with many griefs. Ephesians 4.28, anyone who has been stealing must steal no longer, but must work, doing something useful with their own hands that they may uh, have something to share with those in need. Exodus 20.15, you shall not steal. Exodus 22.7, if anyone give a neighbor silver or goods for safekeeping and they are stolen from the neighbor's house, the thief is caught, must pay it back double. Um, Jose uh, 4.2, uh, there is a only cursing, lying, and murder, stealing, and adultery. They break all bounds and bloodshed follows bloodshed. Now, it's very interesting. Cursing, lying, murdering, uh, murder, stealing, and adultery. Uh, now, I mean, did I just describe Lady Frame? Jesus fucking... Wow. Um, as you remember, uh, Lady Frame was having an affair with a married woman, uh, fired her, but kept paying her, kept her secretly on the payroll, despite Ben Armstrong not knowing it, lying. This is an employee lying to their employer. Um, so uh, he, he committed adultery. He stole a company from somebody. Uh, he lies to this day. You, you go listen. The testimony's down there, by the way. You can hear it all. Um 
And by the way, if you want to see him cursing, I got a video of that, uh, of him uh, mouthing to Ben Armstrong while they were in court. Uh, murder? I mean, that's Carlos or Larry, the disabled guy, whatever his name. I don't know what his name is. Uh, I don't know what he's really, you know what I mean? But the question is, who is Bo Mason? Why is Bo Mason with thieves? Why is he with adulterers? Why does he pre preach about the kingdom of God? knowing full well that there's no chance at this point for him to 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 enter uh, unless he goes on Sunday and says I'm sorry and then of course all is forgiven I assume because I, it's, I I assume that's just the way that he thinks anyway if you haven't already it's at uh coach Bo Mason 1 I'll pull that up here so you can see it at coach Bo Mason 1 uh, we certainly need to find out who uh coach Bo Mason is we need to figure out what is going on with Bo Mason? Why is Bo Mason involved with these people? Why is this going on? It's a weird question that we have to ask from a man purportedly of God being involved in it. And by the way, I might add, the person that tried to manipulate Ben Armstrong, and I'm not making this up, was the leader of the same fellowship that TJ and Bo and Ben previously were a part of. This is what God wrought? Very weird, very odd circumstance. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do your part. Let's find out what's going on with Coach Bo Mason. Uh, that's at Coach Bo Mason one. Uh, it's at Hit Network underscore. It's at Nick Demondi. You know who they are. You know where they are. You know what they're doing. You've seen it. And uh, now it's time to start figuring it out. All right, guys. It's not financial advice, but I'm always right. You take care, and we'll talk to you again very, very soon. Who is Bo Mason?